with this group in particular, it is more of an individual's looking for their position within the team. And we clearly want to move to more of a, a team-orientated standpoint as we get into qualifying. It's completely natural what's happening now. A guy wants to come into camp, he wants to, to make, a, you know, make a good impression on the coaching staff, he wants to play really well, and he's focused more on himself. As he gets more comfortable, now he's focused more on his teammates. And we certainly want to get into that stage by qualifying because that's going to be really important. But it's been so fun working with these guys, really fun to see them up close. Let's do a quick 4v1, youngster middle. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Willie, go. Tyler, stay. Closer. Yes. Nice and easy. Come on, find it. Yes. Now you can play. Why? Yes. Now go. Come, Tyler. Come. Come, Tyler. Yes. Yeah, Nicholas. Yeah, good touch. That's it. thing you know Greg has really instilled in these young guys is seize the opportunity. You always have to be prepared because you know football comes at you fast. I think this is a great opportunity for some of the guys that aren't as familiar with CONCACAF opponents to get that experience. So for, for us we're really happy with this game. You know we're going to continue to try to build on what we what we had last game. People have to remember we've only been together for <laughs> barely barely a week. So again, one thing I can say to the to the national team fans um, is be patient. You know, we got guys with a lot of talent that we just have to figure out how to work as a team, and I think it's coming together definitely. What's going to make this team great is if we play for each other. Anytime we're together, what we're stressing on them is, you know, we want to compete to win games. So we're on the field against a CONCACAF opponent, and we want to win the game. That's what it comes down to. I think we want to end this experience with the group uh, on a high note. So here we go. It's another opportunity for these U.S. men to be on the field to continue the build-up against now a familiar opponent. Another opportunity to see this young core starting to be built up ahead of a World Cup in Qatar that begins two years from Saturday, the qualifying matches for which will begin next year. And a reminder of the role these young Americans are trying to play in the collective quest for social justice and equality. And now underway, it is the United States wearing the new blue shirts. It is Panama in white. Joe Akini in the middle. Chicana got slowed up on the first touchdown. The cross, Giannis back on the field, put it just wide. Well, that would have been a dream return to play. Here was caught free, had a Panama goal. Jose Fajardo and a bright start for the U.S. Undone at the eight-minute mark, and they trail Panama. Great up. McKinney wins it back. Reyna Julianez on the deck. Rebound is a goal. Joe Akini there, alert on the scene as goals about four minutes apart for the United States to take the lead. Dest holds it up on the other side. Dest back for Adams. Adams the reverse pass. McKinney, can he get there? Yes, clipping it up. And a back in front. Joe Akini scores. And joining him from Legette, hands off for Ledesma. Ledesma's cross into a good area to goal! And the late run 
by Sebastian Soto on his debut has made it 4-2. That's a great overlapping run from Cannon. Take it short for Cannon. His cross turned in for a goal. That was Sebastian Legit, the little near post flick header there. And it's 5-2. Yeah, flick there from Ledesma to keep it in. This is kind of fun to watch right now. Tim Wea. Desma got himself back on side. He'll swing in another cross. Mosquera let it go, and it did bounce in from that angle. Sebastian Soto's second goal. Nothing is ever perfect, but it's pretty darn good, and it's an awful lot of fun for the U.S. tonight. Six goals in total. No, oh, that's a really good game. The intensity from the guys is great. Let's taste the CONCACAF, you know, that's what we're going to get. And getting these young guys this experience. I'm talking like a veteran. I hate it. I feel so old. But honestly, getting the young guys this, this experience was... No, it's going to be so good going forward. When you hand one of these out, it symbolizes a couple things. I mean, the first thing is you're part of a brotherhood now, which is really important. But the second thing, to think about the accomplishment, right, of how many players in the world have represented their countries in soccer. And this is what it symbolizes, all the hard work that you guys put in to get to this level. I wish you all the best. Keep pushing, keep fighting, but this is a special ball. So congratulations, guys. Richie. <laughs> and, guys, and guys, not too many, not too many players debut, uh, make their debut and score two goals, man. Sebastian made a big impact off the bench, bro. Congratulations. Hey, and last but uh, not least, right, it's always difficult for center backs to come in, especially when the score is 3-2, but you came in, you dealt with it, not only did you deal with it, you pulled us away, man. When you think about World Cup qualifying, guys, when you're picturing in your mind, it's games like that, it's intensity like that, it's desperate opponents like that. That's what it's going to be like. So I'm glad we got to experience it.